Hey guys, this is the topic most of you are most familiar with, but maybe I'm able to show you a couple of new things. Of course, you all know about our snapping system here, so you can create surface snapping anchors and the objects will snap to the surface, so in this case to the ceiling or to the wall or to the floor. We also have integrated this little menu on the controller where you can see the actual distance and the rotation. And you can see even if the rotation is off, the objects will snap to the surface in the right way. So for the statue, you can see we have a little image. And if I grab it and drop it onto the table, it is attached. And even if I rotate the table, the statue will be moved too. You also have the possibility to switch between different modes and you can see an indication of that mode in the controller. So right now it's green and if we switch it to red, now we have distance and scale. So now I'm able to scale the mesh with my laser controls. And if I snap it to the table, I can scale both of them at once. We have di three different modes created for you to play around with. So this is just one of them. And here you can see the same example. The next thing is our trigger system. So if you snap something on an anchor, like for this example here in the battery, you can trigger custom events. We turn the light on for the bulb here and we can move it around and rotate it and even snap it to the walls if we want to. So all of the functionality is still in there. So I'm going to switch my mode here and let's snap it to the wall. And if I grab the light bulb again, you can see now it's off. And if I snap it again, it's turned on. And you may also notice that the scale is being changed. That's because we set a different scale for each light bulb on the batteries. And also we save different colors for every battery. So the light bulbs will adapt to the color of the battery in this case. The light bulbs are also set to physics handle. So they collide with other objects. They try to follow your laser, but if they collide, they just stick there. In the next example, I'm going to show you the snapping uh, to an anchor. In this case, the anchor is animated. And once I snap it in there, you can see the other gears are turning. And if I remove it, it stops turning. So the next example is a complex one. And for such a system, you really need to um, put in some work because if we connect everything in there correctly, the right way, this works. And an event is being triggered, the particle starts. But in this example, you can also attach them the wrong way. So the user can do something like this. And it would still trigger the event. So you really need to think about which text to use and when to trigger the event. For the next one, we are going to use hands and they will be switched automatically if you go in there because I wanted to show you the latching system of the hands and they snap into their positions really nicely for each object. And there are multiple objects and sockets created so you can snap to different positions. So maybe this one on the top here. And we have created this basically for everything. Here we use skeletal meshes. So it's the first time we are going to use skeletal meshes. You can actually grab them and a lot of people were interested in this one. So we integrated an example, so thumbs up. And also it's it's really fun playing around with those. Should, should make something like a handgun, maybe anytime soon. Reminds me a little bit on Half-Life. We will also create more physics example in the future because it's it's really cool and Half-Life inspired us this way. So here is an anchor on the wall. We can just grab the sword here. 
And for the last example, it's also attaching, but this time I'm not grabbing, pressing any grab button, so it's auto attaching if I get close to it. It automatically attaches to the hands. And you can also trigger different events on the tablet if you want to. So let's switch back to the laces again. For this example, it's a more complex one. Of course, here we can just snap our weights there, but we can also grab them. And now once they are attached, you do, you're not able to grab them anymore. But now you can drag them around and they snap to positions and even rotate while you drag them. So this is a cool little example. Go in there, check out how we set this up. And I'm sure you will create a, cool of, a couple of cool effects with this. So once everything is attached, we can give it to this dude here. Can also attach some of this assets here to him. And now he's good to go. Can start doing his workout. That's also the outfit I'm using every time I go to the gym. So the last system, and this one is completely new. It's called Simple Latch. We have added a possibility if you get close to an actor that you latch in a specified position. And if you use the right hand, the laser will be activated. And if the event is finished, you will get a reward. Okay, oh no, no cake for you. But at least you have a simple latch component. So see you in the next tutorial.